Welcome to our channel Date Speaks. We will provide information regarding various events occurred on the specific dates through our videos. In this video, date 21st October speaks about scientific inventions occurred. First, we will talk about radio telephone. In 1915, the first experimental transatlantic radio telephone speech communication was made. Taking advantage of the recently developed vacuum tube transmitters and receivers, AT&T conducted radio telephony tests from NAA, the US Navy station in Arlington, lab of AT&T in Arlington. VA Virginia talks to Lieutenant Colonel Ferries of the French government using relay points in Canada and at the Eiffel Tower in Paris. His voice was heard as far away as Honolulu, which clearly showed how advanced the vacuum tube equipment was, since the somewhat over 10 miles 16 km range of President's groundbreaking alternator transmitter tests in 1906. President Whale announced that AT&T was planning to add radio telephone links to the Bell system. Now we will talk about photoelectric cell. In 1925, the photo cell device was given its first US public demonstration. It was shown by the Westinghouse Electric and Manufacturing Company at the Electrical Show at Grand Central Palace in New York. The photo cell was used to count objects by acting as a sensor as each object passed through and interrupted a beam of light. The device was also utilized as a sensor to detect when a person approached a door which opened as a circuit was activated. Now we will talk about Nobel Prizes. In 1976, the United States made a clean sweep of the Nobel Prizes, winning or sharing awards in chemistry, physics, medicine, economics and literature. No Peace Prize was awarded. Now we will talk about Trimline Telephone. In 1963, the first residential Trimline Telephone in the US was placed in service by the Michigan Bell Telephone Company. It was made available to all its customers throughout the company's service area on 2nd August 1965 for an optional $1 monthly extra charge. The dial and hang up button were no longer on a remote base, but instead integrated into the handpiece, midway between the microphone and speaker. A call could thus be held from the handpiece alone, which was more convenient in the kitchen or while in bed. It was dramatically different in style from earlier telephones developed with the industrial design firm Henry Dreyfus Associates. In 1977, Fortune magazine selected as one of the country's 25 best design products. If you like our content, please like and share our videos and also subscribe our channel Data Speaks.